Now, metric tensor is a very important feature and an important concept in understanding Einstein's general relativity. Well, as the name suggests, metric itself is a kind of a ruler. You can think of it as a protractor which measures the distance between two points and angles and so on. But as you know that in a kind of a flat space, the Euclidean distance formula actually works. But in a curved space, we cannot use the Euclidean formula. Hence, we need a different kind of a ruler and this ruler is called a metric tensor. Metric tensor is basically featured as this one, which has got an indices and you can find metric tensor in the heart of Einstein's field equation. This is the tensor which measures the distance, uh, angle how things will bend and go so intuitively you can think of it as a ruler but this ruler is something very typical not in a flat space but in a curved space however metric tensor has got certain very important features first it is symmetric in nature that means that the order of the direction does not matter when you are measuring distances and angles so ij can be swapped as gji the second is that it defines distances so it gives the infinite similar distance between two nearby points so it determines the geometry of space that means this metric tensor encodes whether the space is flat or it is curved spaces the components of the metric tensor varies from point to point See? since that it is called invertible there exists an inverse metric tensor as you can see on the screen and it satisfies this one this is useful for raising and lowering vectors indices in calculations also it is tensor in nature which means it transforms under coordinate changes keeping the physics or the geometry invariant it makes a fundamental object of study in geometry and physics it has got a signature in space-time, so in relativity, the matrix has a signature of minus plus 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 plus, which distinguishes time from space.